This video is sponsored by Karma, an app and Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. Check the link below. Hi, Danny. Good morning, guys. This is me every morning woken up by my cat, Danny. Aww. What a lovely way to wake up, you'd say. And it is, don't get me wrong. But her timing is a bit early. Because this happens somewhere between 6 and 6.30. Every, every morning. morning. Mondays, Tuesdays, weekends, bank holidays. And you may say, well, ignore her and just continue sleeping. Um, no, no chance. Because she has a tactic. First she comes to me and starts licking my face. If I continue sleeping, she then starts meowing. And if I still don't bark, she will then start scratching my bed, pulling out these threads. This bed is precious to me, so obviously I will catapult up and start screaming, no, Tenny, don't do that. At that moment, I'm already completely woken up, a bit stressed, and there's no point in going back to bed. So I start my day. First thing in the morning, we got to feed the lady. I store her food in the fridge, but I don't want her to have such a cold breakfast, so I warm it up a little. This is warm water, and we dip it in. She throws me out of bed, and then I'm ban marrying her food. Ban marrying? Ban marrying? Ban marrying? How do you say that? Ban marrying. So yeah, ban marrying the food of my cat at 6 a.m. That is true love. You want your breakfast? Yeah, we give you food now. Oh my gosh, I love her. Yeah, we give food right now. I'm thinking, should I work out today or not? Hmm. Look, I'm gonna be real. I work out maybe twice a week. Maybe. It is not a staple in my morning routine. But I may work out today, just because you're watching. So I feel the pressure to be the best version of myself. Okay, I'm doing it. You know what motivates me to work out more? Cute workout clothes. And who helps me get my clothes or anything else that I'm buying online for the best price possible? Karma. About a month ago I was shopping on Zara and there were quite a few pieces from their summer collection that I really like. This top, this shirt, this short. But instead of buying them right away and paying the full price, I downloaded Karma, I popped these items into my wish list, and as soon as they went on sale, Karma notified me and I was able to get them for 30% off. Bingo! Karma is an app and a Chrome extension which will be your new online shopping best friend. I love shopping in person but lately I found myself shopping online more and more. It's more convenient plus I can get the best possible possible prices with Karma. Download Karma as an app on your phone or on your computer, download the Chrome extension. You can visit any of your favorite online stores and save the items you want to purchase all in one place. Once you've saved the items, you will receive notifications via email or mobile push when these items go on sale, have a relevant coupon or come back in stock. So you really get them for the best price possible. Here's my clothing wish list with all the items that I've saved. I'm buying a cardigan, some workout shoes. For me, it's a great way to plan my shopping, avoid impulse purchases and shop more mindfully. I like how you can organize items into multiple wish lists. I have one for clothes, beauty products, home decor items. When you use Karma on your computer, there's this special feature where Karma scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at checkout automatically. You don't have to change where or how you shop. Karma pops up automatically, applies the coupon codes and gives you a discount. Perfect. So really, the Karma Chrome extension is a must. When you shop from select retail partners, Karma gives cash back to you and even better, for every purchase over $50, they donate $1 to a good cause, which is just amazing. If you wanna download Karma for free, click the link in my description. You will get Karma's free Chrome extension and you can start saving money on your online purchases today. Thanks Karma for sponsoring this video and for being my online shopping best friend. Now let's get dressed and it's time for workout. Oh, but before that, about every other morning, or when I remember, I do this thing called oil pulling. It is supposed to kill bacteria in your mouth and improve dental health. You take a spoonful of coconut oil, swish it in your mouth for 10 minutes or so, and then spit it out. Why? I read that you cannot spit coconut oil in the sink or toilet because it can clog the pipe. Plus, coconut oil is natural and organic, and this is my garden, so don't judge. I can spit the oil on my grass. Gross. Okay, now workout for real. Just a little drink before. After sleeping for eight hours, I'm always very thirsty in the morning, so I like to have a big glass of chlorella. Unfortunately, I've run out of chlorella, so instead, I'm gonna have this detox powder. It says that it supports the liver, detoxes digestive tract, and binds heavy metals. Wow, give me that magic trick. I'm using the plastic spoon to mix the powder in my water. That is because this thing binds metal. So if you were to use a metal spoon, it could bind the metals from the spoon and then you would drink it. Doesn't sound healthy. Now, I don't know if this information is legit. I heard it from someone, so I take the precaution. You do you. Cheers. 
I forgot to breathe while I was drinking. Almost choked. I'm out of breath and I haven't even started the workout. This is concerning. I don't have any fancy gym equipment. A yoga mat, ankle weights and the nature. Let's wing it and see how we can do. I've been drinking liquid chlorophyll for a few years now and I like it, apparently it's full of antioxidants and also just super mesmerizing. I'm sold. <sighs> Almost died again. What's wrong with me? Can you drink, like legit drink and breathe at the same time? I feel like no. Do I don't know how to drink? I really don't feel like showering right now. I wanna do my nails though. I am gonna shower, just later. Maybe I could do a little nail art, something easy and quick. Cow prints have been very popular lately, so maybe I wanna do a cow print, but make it rainbow. Do you remember when I used to do a lot of nail art on my channel? Probably not, because that was years ago. My channel was super small, and then with nail art, it started getting more and more viewers. Has any one of you been watching my videos back then and is still here now? Tell me in the comments, because I would really love to know. For my rainbow cow nail art, I'm first gonna paint all the nails in white. Many of you guys are interested how I'm able to paint my right hand as a right-handed person. And the best trick is just to rest your left hand on the table and then just go for it. Slowly but surely. This is probably not a very helpful advice, but you can do it. I believe in you. Practice makes perfect. I'll shut up now, sorry. Now that my nails are white, I'm gonna leave them to dry and in the meantime, I'm gonna choose some colors for the patches. I think I'm gonna go more for a pastel. Pastel cow print. Scratch the rainbow, pastel's the vibe. What a pretty combo, I'm excited. The trick is to wipe the brush really well and then make random patches on the nails. Cute, that was so easy. I love easy nail arts like this because I don't have patience to sit here for hours. No thanks. Also these patches are random so you cannot go wrong. We love that. And lastly, let's seal our design with a top coat. Nails are done and I am obsessed. Now it's really the time to go shower. Hmm, what should we wear today? It is still pretty warm, so I wanna wear summer outfits for as long as possible. If I tell you that this shirt is probably over 15 years old, I swear, I think I've had it for 16 or 17 years. Crazy. And I feel like these styles of shirts are kind of back, right? Plus the green, super trendy. I think this is my fit for today. A big cup of herbal tea, a staple in my morning routine. I wanna do something fun for my makeup today, something different. Don't wanna go crazy on colors or anything like that, but I wanna try something new. I chose exactly the same foundation as always, so we're off to a great start. I'm running out of my primer so badly. Definitely need to put this on my Karma wish list. I'm gonna try to make a bronzy, glowy, summery makeup. I've never attempted this, so let's see how it turns out. I'm gonna use a bronzer on my eyes. Pretty casual. I wanna add a hint of gold to the eyes. Is this doing anything at all? Here it looks like a nice color, but on my eyes, non-existent. Shall we try a pop of blue here under the eyes? Yeah, I think we shall. Okay, this is literally the most unsharpened eye pencil I own. I'm just gonna apply a hint of blue under the eyes. I hate this. The unsharpened pencil was a sign. It was screaming, no, don't do that. And yet I did it. And now I regret it. <sighs> you know what? Sometimes mascara saves everything. You do a mediocre eyeshadow look and then you apply mascara and boom, suddenly it's like a brand new makeup. Please help us. Yeah, this does look better. The blue is still bothering me, but it's okay. There's no glowy summer look without bronzer and I usually never use this, so I feel a disaster incoming. I'm gonna go for the good old E3 strategy. So you apply it like this and like this. For lips, I have a few options. Maybe this orangey. That's pretty cute. For my hair, I'm gonna use this waver for the first time today. Let's see if we can get some nice waves with it. But first, we gotta protect the hair from the heat. I don't know if this really does something. We're gonna pretend it does. Flip the top hair on the other side. Flip it and let's see. How long do I have to hold it? 
Um, we did get a nice wave here at the bottom. It is quite okay, I guess. Uh, again, I should have held it for longer here. Guys, this is the longest my hair has ever been. I need to go get a haircut desperately. Okay, half of the head is done. What do you think? Which one do you prefer? This one or this one? I really like it. I just wish I did a better job here. Like it's normal hair and then wavy hair. How do you make a seamless transition? I go to my hairdressers every time I visit my family, which is about two times a year. Last time I was at home, it was in March this year. The girl that I usually go to was not available. So I was like, Okay, I'm gonna wait another six months. So here we are six months later with crazy hair. And I could absolutely get another hairdresser here because it's not that I'm picky. It's just I'm a creature of habit, a total routine person. How are you with hairdressers? Do you have one go-to person or are you switching them a lot? The last wave coming in. I already think that I did better this part than this here. Now I don't know if I should pin the hair back a little bit or I should leave them like this. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna leave it because I always pin it back or make a ponytail so today no. For once I'm gonna leave the hair free. Especially in the winter, every day before breakfast, I like to take an immunity shot. You know those little yellow bottles they sell in stores for super expensive? Well, we're gonna save our coin, but we still want a strong immune system. Easy, because we're gonna make our immunity shot from scratch. Curcumin, ginger, black pepper, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. Peel the ginger and curcumin. A question, curcumin or turmeric? Is this the same thing or is there a difference? Curcumin is a substance in turmeric. Okay, so this is turmeric. Turmeric root and inside we have some curcumin. Okay, again it now thanks be careful when peeling the turmeric because it will stain your hands nails clothes sink blender it will stain your life but for the strong immune system i'm taking it ginger curcumin some apple cider vinegar black pepper and a little bit of water whiz it up and let the magic happen Pour the liquid through the strainer and here we have it. Look at this rich yellow color. This is health, guys. What have I told you about turmeric staining everything it touches? I'm gonna have one little shot now and the rest I'm gonna store in this glass bottle in the fridge. This will last me about a week. Cheers! Fun fact, you guys, I grow curcumin in the garden. Come on, I'll show you. Here she is, my beautiful curcumin. I don't know when I can harvest the roots, but when they're ready, I'm definitely making my immunity shots. It's already past 11. Where did the time go? Oh, yeah. You went here, into hair and makeup. Let's clear something up. Usually there is no hair and makeup time in my morning routine. To be completely honest, my standard routine goes like this. Wake up, drink, edit, eat breakfast around 10, and add it again. And that wouldn't be very interesting to you, so we had to put some substance into this morning routine. But in any case, it is time for my favorite part of every morning, and that is breakfast. Today, I'm making quinoa. I know, I know. It sounds weird, I'm aware. Quinoa for breakfast? Ew, you may think. Think again. Because the way that I like to do it is actually super yummy, and it very much resembles the oatmeal. So here's how you do it. Soak the quinoa in some water overnight. Give it a little rinse, pop into a cooking pot and bring to a boil. Then rinse again, very important. Add water and simmer until you get this thick oatmeal texture. Optionally, you can add some milk. I like it both ways. Transfer to a serving bowl and you can top it with fruit, honey, nuts. My choice is always a piece of dark chocolate and some almond butter. I just love this combination. Although some berries on top sound pretty nice too, let's go check the garden if we can find some. It's just been raining, everything's wet, so I had to put on my boots and now let's harvest some goodies. I see one. Oh no, it has been eaten by a bird. Oh, but I see another one. You are mine. Yay, got one. Now raspberries. Yeah, I can see them. There's plenty. Just managed to steal this before it started raining again, but I think this breakfast is gonna be yummy. OMG, this looks so yummy, guys. The chocolate has melted. I'm always so looking forward to this breakfast. Going for the strawberry first. Mmm, we did well. It's a great breakfast. I have quinoa for breakfast about two times a week and it's hands down my favorite. It tastes like a cake. And even if you're eating oatmeal, try topping it with dark chocolate and almond butter. You won't regret it. I used to eat oatmeal every morning years back. I was obsessed with it. In the evenings, I would already be thinking how I'm gonna do my oatmeal in the morning. It was not a healthy relationship. 
Also, my tummy didn't like it at all. I would get so bloated, the relationship was kind of toxic. So I kicked it out of my life. Mm. But then I discovered quinoa and my life was happy again. Right now, I'll probably do some editing and then spend time enjoying this beautiful view. Thank you for spending the morning with me, guys, and don't forget to download Karma for free. It will help you shop smart, plus save time and money automatically. Link is in the description. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.